welcome to the channel it has been a while since I've been on a bike riding uh, that's just because uh, I took some time off from riding uh, I had to spend time with the family and uh, now we're getting closer to the end of September uh, exactly it is September 26th that I'm recording this video today it's gonna be nothing major I'm just heading out to Cabela's uh, I need a couple things uh, as I'm going out hunting tomorrow. So, yeah, I haven't been riding uh, because at the beginning of August our family took a trip down south from Calgary to Los all the way to Los Angeles. We visited Disneyland Resort in Anaheim and we spent uh, three days out there actually at the resort itself. We spent uh, two days in uh, Disneyland Park and one on the California Adventure. In my opinion the adventure is better but if you are heading out to Disneyland it's way over advertised. Uh, that thing is not as I was imagining. I was expecting it much more and uh, especially relating to all the rides they have uh, because the only good ride that was a uh, Incredibles uh, roller coaster I was prepared uh, to something similar to Six Flags uh, when I was uh, years back in Milwaukee there was many rides and uh, the lineups were not even close to what I've seen at uh, Disneyland Park that was uh, the main part of our trip but uh, before we got to Los Angeles, Anaheim. We spent also two days in Las Vegas, which was fantastic. Vegas is always nice, uh, even if you're not gambling like we don't. Uh, just to walk around, hang out uh, on the streets and uh, visit all the different uh, casinos uh, and hotels and all the attractions that they offer. There's actually quite a bit uh, you can do. I even managed to visit the Pound Shop, uh, the one that has a series on TV, Pound Stars. I wasn't lucky enough to meet Rick and uh, Corey and all these guys there. They were not there. Apparently, they're not there on the weekend and it was actually a weekend. I believe we were there on Saturday, so I didn't know that, uh, but just took a stroll around the store itself and that was pretty much it. From Vegas we went straight, straight down to Disneyland. After spending the three days in Disneyland we decided that uh, we have lots of time so we visited uh, Idlewild Village maybe half an hour 40 minutes uh, from our campsite KON, KOA campsite in Banning California a uh, pretty nice little place up in the mountains and I was actually amazed uh, that was uh, to me more uh, more amazing than actual Disneyland itself it's a beautiful village in the uh, high mountains actually because I believe it was over 6,000 feet of elevation from where we were at the campground and uh, in such a short uh, drive we spent uh, like um, most of the day there after that uh, we went to Joshua Tree State Park we also spent another day at uh, Joshua Tree State Park. That was something we wanted to do as uh, we were heading next day to Grand Canyon. If I would know, didn't uh, pay attention to the map, but uh, otherwise I would hit the Joshua Tree on the way to Grand Canyon and we were on the south side of Grand Canyon. We spent the night at KOA which is uh, about half an hour south of the main visitor center in Grand Canyon. Grand Canyon after you see Utah uh, does not uh, give that effect. It's not the same because once you've been in Utah and you see all the wonders out there the Grand Canyon just doesn't have that visual for some reason I couldn't believe it I was expecting like a big wow moment and a jaw-dropping uh, scenery and landscape but honestly like after you visit most of the parks in Utah and then you go to Grand Canyon 
it's just eh, it is what it is right it's still a beautiful place don't get me wrong it is spectacular especially if somebody never been in uh, this kind of uh, place or this kind of a landscape definitely is gonna that person is gonna be very impressed but if you spend weeks in uh, Utah obviously that's not that wow moment so yeah we spend uh, another day in uh, Grand Canyon uh, very close to Route 66 well actually some 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 towns that we went through were right on the Route uh, 66 it was good times it was good times with the family the pretty much uh, two weeks time or maybe even slightly more the family had a great time to get away from all this daily stuff one thing that I did not like the most uh, about this trip is driving in Los Angeles because uh, as I mentioned we pulled the trailer so we parked the trailer in Banning and our drive to Anaheim was only 100 kilometers but guess what that 100 kilometer drive in uh, Los Angeles we were looking between uh, three to four hours no matter what time of the day we went because uh, we went at different times we went early in the morning like five o'clock we returned at night like uh, 2 3 p.m. and uh, during the day no matter what time of the day you're going there the traffic is just something that you have to be prepared for quite often you will be crawling especially if there is some kind of a fender bender on the road or anything like that it uh, gets horrible look at that it's raining yesterday was uh, plus 28 today it is only 12 degrees at this moment and <laughs> it is raining and the uh, rain supposed to stop uh, when I was looking the forecast around 8 o'clock and uh, right now we're looking at 10 o'clock a.m. and it's actually raining that's okay I just go for a short spin instead of taking the truck as much as I hate riding through the city it is what it is yeah we had a blast on this vacation and after vacation the weather kind of sucked a little bit after we came back from this trip after we finished spending time in Grand Canyon we took side roads actually and we went back to Utah no major stops in Utah just driving through uh, Grand Staircase Escalante parts of it I'm always amazed to go there like Utah is uh, it gives me chills every time I go there I, I love that state so much so yeah from there we went straight up north we got out uh, to Salt Lake City back to I-15 and the usual Idaho Montana and back home late at night I believe we came back around 2 in the morning uh, so that was uh, actually a long drive uh, that day I think I did about uh, 15 or 1600 kilometers super long day and then it was, it was back to work time and, uh, and uh, so, so it is now uh, so the weather as you see here fall is approaching very fast the nights are cooler there was one night already that uh, we had only two degrees at night and in the morning was quite chilly uh, no frost yet the trees are changing their colors uh, the ground the grass is turning all yellow and brown and I hate to think about it that winter is ar around the corner the, there is there will be not too much riding left oh yeah I went for a ride actually just uh, a couple of weeks ago uh, we did a 600 kilometer a day going to Abraham Lake it was a very long day especially with the bigger group all kinds of motorcycles uh, from adventure bikes Harleys sport bikes um, cruisers anything uh, we had basically three stops one stop at Lake Louise one stop on Icefield Highway and uh, another stop was uh, the destination uh, Abraham Lake so from there it was just uh, driving back home so and that was the last time I was on the bike. I will not be posting many uh, footage from uh, the family trip. I'm approaching Cabela's. Oh, they I think they changed the name actually. It's not Cabela's anymore. 
everything is gonna be a Bass Pro Shops. We'll find out because I think it says Bass Pro, Pro Shop Outfitter. Last time when I was here, they still had the old sign Cabela's. Gotta do a full stop because I got a smoky on. Here on the on the store itself, it still says Cabela's, but on the sign, on the by the highway, it says now Bass Pro Shop Outpost. Because uh, there's another one here in Calgary, further down the Bass Pro Shop. Uh, I might have to go there if I don't find what I need here. So we'll see what I get. Hopefully I get what I need. So shopping at Cabela done. I went for one thing and uh, walked out with more than I wanted. Now it's time to head back home. Like I said, nothing spectacular for this ride. Uh, I just ended up getting a tag for grouse. Just in case if I run into one uh, tomorrow. I got the game bags. Hopefully there will be something to pack in them. Heading out first time, it's okay. Even if I come empty handed. At least I get out and I'll see how it is. Because I never went hunting. I don't know too many people that hunt around here, so I'm gonna be on my own. I know that area that there are elk in there. I did my research. Just a matter if I'm gonna be able to shoot one. Because it has to be at least three points or more. So it's not a small elk that uh, the tag is allowing. And if I do shoot one, then it will be a major workout to cut it up and bring it to the truck. We'll see how that experience goes. It was actually, while I went to the store, it was pouring rain. Now it's the sun is coming out. So that was a short vlog. If you liked it, don't forget, don't forget to hit the like button. Comment down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.